There we go. All right, we're recording. Uh, welcome to Mailbag. Yeah, we're going to start Mailbag in about 10 minutes. We've been playing with these kids with this little ball for a while, and uh, I can probably catch a little bit of it on the Mailbag archive, assuming that someday these might actually get uploaded. Maybe. In the distant future. Now is when they're going to be all calmed down on it. Oh, there you go. Sport's still jumping. You are seeing this someday in the distant future. The little orange boy has been napping, and I woke him up to bring him in here, so that's probably why he's not participating. Just shaking off his nap. Probably going to go back to it. Good jump. Wow. Oh, we're out of bounds. Oh, okay, there you go. Mm -hmm. Have you seen Rammy, Doopy? Is Rammy upstairs? Oh. Oh, yeah, that's the place where they like to hang out all day. She and uh, Mullet Scully and Hitchcock. Do you want me to bring her? No, that's fine. I mean, you might. She might want to see this and participate, but uh, you know, she might equally just want to stay there. I don't know. I guess you can bring her in here and see. If you can even get her, she loves to play the chase game. She is interested now. She wants to come right at it. Nervous about the rug, though. She's such a timid little kitty. Just funny because she's giant. No, she came and watched for a while, and then she. I guess, she didn't get in on the rug, did she? She didn't get on the rug. She sniffed it. I think she was okay with it, but then there's just too much going on, and she's like, "Nah, we go back to my tree." Okay. Yeah, these three have been. Oh, she's right here. I thought she left. The orange boy just left, though. He's probably going back to his nap. Hey, buddy. Oh, I think Rami might get involved. She was just looking like she was going to jump on it. How are we doing for time? Is it time? No, it's not time. Oh, got you. Got 
you, Remy. I mean, it's okay to touch it. I gotta put this thing away and uh, I have the good microphone for today's mailbag. It's not on yet, but I'm gonna go put it on. So I don't know if the volume level is gonna drastically change when I do. Just uh, be aware. Switches to the good mic. Uh, I hope you can hear me at all. Hang on. I, I, I don't know which camera's on right now, but I'm about to switch to the good mic. So watch your ears if you can. You trick if you can. Uh, here it comes. I think. Hang on. One more second. Test, test. I hope you can hear me okay. Uh, that's the good mic. This is the volume, more or less, that we'll be at for mailbag today. 
Uh, give me one more second to grab the mailbag supplies, and we will get rolling. You guys get to listen to what I'm doing over here. Okay, let me check the camera angles and uh, let me check on Discord to make sure that the sound sounds okay, that you guys can hear everything. I'm going to zoom out the ceiling camera too because I can see we're going to have some people playing on the wheel today. So let's get that going. There you go. I know it's, a, it's very zoomed out, but at least you can see everything. Cool. And how are we looking over here? Fair enough. Get myself some new jeans. Uh, and what else? Uh, Discord, let's check. How we doing? All right, looks good. I see. You say the new mic is quieter. I can turn it up, actually. Um, but um, yeah, I just I thought it was kind of cutting itself out earlier so I'm, I'm just gonna leave it like this for now and uh, we're just gonna we're gonna roll with this for today and then uh, I'll get a chance to review it eventually and we can decide to change things let's see where is uh, our mail let's start with the letters like always and today is a perfectly sized mail bag oh just like last week before I forget uh, let me say this first and maybe I'll bring it up again but um, I left a couple bags in the garage. We had uh, a whole bunch of litter and some food sent by Raylene and Zenithon, and I left that all out there because it's heavy. And actually, when I went to the, the post office to pick up the mail today, the post person said, uh, look out for that bottom box. Uh, so she said, it's leaking some kitty litter, which they always do. Uh, you know, the kitty litter stuff always leaks a little bit, but that's not it. She's like, you know, watch out. It's, it's kind of, you know, whatever. Um, and so uh, I'm, you know, getting all the boxes and putting them in the car. And when I go to pick up that one that she's talking about, I picked it up and the box just came right up and all the kitty litter stayed. <laughs> uh, it was, it was, uh, I don't know, maybe you had to be there. It was funny for me, but um, um, then, you know, obviously I just grabbed the bags of litter and threw them in the car and we were fine. So I left all that out there. Uh, thank you so much, Raylene and Zenithon, for sending the very practical kitty litter and cat food. Uh, very useful stuff that we will definitely use, and I really appreciate that. It's, uh, you always send that uh, food and litter, and uh, you say you like to send the stuff that's practical, that you know is going to get used, and uh, for sure. Um, that is exactly what it is. As for news this week, um, the new kittens are doing fine. The old kittens are doing fine. Everybody's fine, actually. There's just, there's not too much news. Oh, except, of course, that we are expecting a new mom cat tomorrow. Uh, she will be here tomorrow morning. Uh, she'll probably be here around 11, um, although it might be, um, might be a little earlier than that, might be a little later. I don't know exactly, but uh, we're expecting before noon anyway. I think I have to go pick her up, uh, and we haven't uh, set the exact time, but uh, we're going to get that sorted out. So we've got a new room all cleaned up for her, but as clean as the new room is, I haven't actually populated it with all of her stuff yet, which is, that's how, it seems like that's how we always do it. I'm always, got the room clean, and then at the last minute when she shows up, I'm like, oh, where's the litter box? Ah, where's the food? Let's grab it and throw it in there for her. Um, so uh, I'd like to try to do that today, though, so I'm ahead of it a little bit. And we're going to have to take now, with three mom cats in at once, uh, I'm probably going to have to take a couple of the cameras and move them in there so we'll have a little less coverage of everybody else, but I think we'll be okay. There's, there's a few cameras that don't get used very often. Um, and these kids, anyway, they're all around the house, so it, it's almost impossible to keep them on the cameras in their room anyway, so I guess those are the ones I'll steal first. So, yeah, a uh, new mom cat tomorrow. That's the big deal. I think, um, I don't know if we've got any records because we don't normally know for mom cats, but I think she might be one of the youngest mom cats we've ever had. Uh, of course, there's no way to know for sure. Like I said, we don't have records. A lot of them come to us. We don't know one way or the other. 
but we do know that she's a kitten herself. And uh, um, I, other than that, I don't know anything about her story. I don't know where she came from. I don't know how it is that she's pregnant and on the streets. Um, but uh, I do know that she's going to come here and deliver her kittens. And then um, we'll make sure that she never has that issue again. And she'll be a wonderful kitten for somebody to get adopted along with her kittens. Um, so that's it for news. New mom cat. Everybody else healthy, happy, uh, having fun. If you haven't been following the saga of Teaspoon, the only news is that there's no news for him right now. Uh, we're just we're just kind of waiting at this point to see if he grows out of things a bit. So uh, that's it. He's not on the chicken diet anymore. He's able to eat whatever food he wants for now. And we're we're just you know keeping an eye on the situation. He seems happy and he seems fine. So that's that. All right, let's jump into the letters. Uh, let's see. We've got one here that is just covered over with all kinds of cat stuff, and um, not all of it cats though. We've got. First off, there's this one on the front. DJ and I were trying to figure out if it's a, like a cat with a giant jelly bean on his head. I think it might be. I don't know how well you can see that. The one in the corner that's sparkly. There you go. That's the best I'll be able to show you. Um, uh, I don't know if that's a jelly bean on his head or what. I love this one on the back that is the two cats in an alien flying saucer abducting another cat. And they're just so fat and cute. Uh, it's, that's also really fun. Those are, those are great little stickers. So... Let's see. All of them are fun, though. Hi, Custard. Yeah, you are a big fat kitty. All right. Uh, we started Custard on a new medicine for his arthritis. I assume that he's got arthritis. Um, you know, that's what the doc says. We've had him on Medicam for a long time, which is... Medicam's, um, it's a, what they call an NSAID, so it's like ibuprofen or uh, Tylenol, but... But it's not, obviously, because you cannot give those to a cat. Uh, but it is, it's in the same family of things. Uh, it's highly effective, and it's something that uh, humans take, too. Uh, I've used it in the past for my, my back pain and stuff. And, uh, in fact, uh, I'll be having more of it next week, but that's a whole other story. Um, so he's been on that for a long time, and it's really helped him uh, sort of you know, act like a kitten again. Uh, but we heard about this uh, silencia, I think. I, I don't know if I'm saying that right. And we brought him in this week to try it out. It's a once a month injection. And I, it's, again, it's so hard to tell these things sometimes. And you don't want to, you know, you don't want to let the placebo effect get you. You don't want to assume that it's helping him or, or even have the, you know, uh, get fooled into thinking it's helping him when it's not. So you have to be really careful to, to decide these things. But I really do think it's made a good difference for him. And in fact, uh, today would have been a dose of Medicam for him. It's the first dose of Medicam that we're not giving him. Uh, and we're going to see uh, how he continues to do on just the silencia. And if it works out, then uh, we'll be getting him that every month. It, it really seems like it's made a huge difference, though. He's The last week since he got that injection, he's acted like a whole new cat. So that's, that's good, I think. Anyway, uh, back to what we were doing. Uh, we've got this cute little pineapple. It says, thank you for sharing your home. And it's got a cute little bird on it and some flowers around it. It uh, really is like a little shrine apple. Okay. And inside, it's a uh, happy anniversary. And there's drawings. Of, first off, the pineapple inside has sunglasses and cat ears drawn on it, which is super cute. But we've also got drawings of the whole family. Uh, we've got Custard, Maggie, Loganberry, Ari, and Eddie. I'll have to show you that. Here, I can even fold it maybe around a little bit while I read the card. And you can see that, I think. It says, Happy Anniversary, Kitten Academy. You sure know how to make your home a fun, warm place to visit virtually. Thanks for everything. Most of all, your amazing company. Thank you for everything you do. I see why it's a pineapple, by the way. That's, that's so cute. Um, thank you for everything you do for kittens, mom, cats, Mr. Whiskers, Shane, etc. My life would not be the same without you and the community in it. Uh, heart Erica, which is hi Rick. It's H I W R I K sixty seven zero three on Discord. A name I recognize. P S. I wrote this with my fancy fountain pen, which is why the ink is all bleedy. This paper hates it. Uh, that's cute. DJ loves fountain pens uh, and has a, a big collection of them. And I often have a lot of trouble when I pick one up to write with. Uh, there's one though that I love. I wish I could think of the brand name of it. I would tell you. Uh, the one that, that we use to write out the graduation certificates with. Uh, well, except that it's, it's a calligraphy pen. It's got the flat end on it, so maybe not great for general purpose writing, but uh, it, the ink in it flows so well. Oh, my goodness. Uh, 
Anyway, um, uh, thank you, Erica, so much. That's so sweet, and I love the little drawings that you put in of the, the faculty, and the, it's just, it's super cute. Thank you very, very much for that. Okay. Um, next up, let's see here. Ah, oh, this guy looks exactly like Custard. He's a giant, chunky cat. Uh, they could be twins, and... <laughs> It's uh, on a background of macaroni and cheese, and the cat is saying, I took one of those DNA tests and found out I am 27% cheese. That's a, that's a cute card for so many reasons. Doesn't that look exactly like custard? I hope you can see it okay. I think it does. Aw, inside it's signed by Rumpus and Roughhouse. That's so sweet. It says, you can't buy happiness, but you can buy cheese, and that's pretty darn close. Happy live stream anniversary. In eight years of kitten fostering and seven years of live streaming, Kitten Academy has helped 317 kittens, mom cats, and pregnots. You are amazing, and we appreciate your wonderful work. Love, Megalina, Ruffy, and Rumpus. Uh, I don't, I don't know if this microphone is picking up uh, nibbles. She is singing to beat the band in there. Uh, my goodness. So, uh, Megalina, thank you so much. I have to thank you for all of your amazing work. You do so much for Kitten Academy. I couldn't possibly say enough. So, uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, 317 kittens, mom, cats, and pregnots. Wow. Uh, I was about to say, uh, the, I got on a tangent about the cameras, but having three mom cats in at the same time, I'm sure we've done it before, um, but it feels like it's a lot to take on all at once. So it should be exciting the next few weeks uh, while we uh, try to sort of manage that. <sighs> I'm excited to meet her, though. She's really a cutie. Okay, uh, Megalina, thank you again for the card. I love it. Uh, I love the fact that you found a cat that looks so much like Custard, <laughs> uh, even in overall shape. All right, this is cute. We've got a sort of a classic uh, drawing of a cat hanging off the top of the card. Ooh, uh, and inside, we've got some dense writing. It says, Hi, Mr. A. You know how we always thank you for all you do for the kittens and mom cats? We mean it. We're thanking you for what uh, Wordsworth called that best portion of a good man's life, his little, nameless, unremembered acts of kindness and of love. We're all invested in Little Teaspoon. Little T has fought for his health every day of his life, and you fight by his side. Of course, uh, you've done supplemental feedings and poopings and doctor visits and specialist visits and colet pal palpations and cookings of chicken thighs and hand feedings. You spent sleepless nights caring for him. Along the way, you found time to raise his mom and his sisters to be healthy, confident, smart, and funny lady cats. I want to thank you specifically for the calf, uh, for the, oh, for the care that you take to balance T's diet restriction with allowing him the freedom for important play and snuggle time with his sisters. That juggling act is so important for his development. It must be so stressful to have to manage. Thank you for expending the bandwidth to strike that balance from Kitty Mom 2. Kitty Mom 2, thank you so much. That is some very sweet thoughts, uh, and I really appreciate it. Uh, it is difficult when you've got a cat that has a different diet be from everybody else because then you really have to manage shuffling the cats, as I like to call it shuffling the cats, where we have to move them around from room to room and keep them separated and then bring them together. and. Um, and like we do all the time with Custard and Loganberry, and uh, one of them also needs uh, some food management added to his life, which we've done in the past, but it is, it's a lot of work. So I really appreciate that you uh, recognize that. Thank you so much for saying so. Uh, that said, it is a joy to take care of tea and to do all the things that we do here. So uh, not really a burden at all. Um, just uh, it is though it's uh, that's a lot more work than it typically would be so uh, yeah he's doing great though and it's nice to finally have him on the regular diet so that we don't have to do that same sort of management all right this is sealed with a loving paw print and I recognize what's going on here of course this says uh, dear mr. a and DJ and all the furries just a few lines to enclose two copies of a poem I've written for nibbles one copy is, of course, for Nibbles and her adutive family, and one copy is for the Academy. I always enjoy writing poetry for the cats, and with each and every poem, I try to say what makes each cat special. Hopefully, in this poem, I've captured a little of the essence of Nibbles, and I hope she likes her poem. Seeing lovely Nibbles and her beautiful kittens over the past few months has been really special. It's hard to believe that their studies at the Academy are nearing completion, 
and that they'll soon be leaving for their forever homes. Once again, the Academy's humans, with the help of the vet team and the Worldwide Kitten Academy community, have pulled out all the stops to give an adorable furry family the very best of care and attention and a huge amount of love. Thank you to the Academy's humans for your continuing and selfless devotion to the kitties. Your efforts are, like the kitties, precious beyond all measure. With love, uh, with lots of love and the very best wishes from Joanne, your greatest Scottish fan. Well, uh, thank you so much for that. And uh, we will read your poetry. Hang on one second here. Um, we're going to try to do that all without revealing your address to everybody. And uh, I am also going to grab my coffee real quick. i got to uh, wet my whistle. Um, hang on one sec here. I know that's probably way too audible now with the new mic. When I, I take a drink of something, I have to be careful about that. There is a mute button on the mic. I have to also remember to start using that at the appropriate moment, moments. Um, anyway, a poem for Nibbles, nicest Nibbles. Nicest Nibbles, you're the sweetest of cats, and you've purred and mewed your way into my heart. At K.A. I've seen you blossom. At K.A. I've seen you bloom. And at K.A., I've seen you enjoy your time, although you'll be leaving oh so soon. Nicest Nibbles, you're the most endearing of cats, and you've completed all your catting studies with ease. You've relished each challenge and met it with zest, passing with marks attained only uh, by only the best. Uh, I'm sorry, okay. Uh, nicest Nibbles, you're the most diligent of cats, and you've really made the most of your stay. But now that you and your kittens are heading to pastures new, I wish you spoogles and purrs every day. Uh, thank you so much. That's a, such a sweet uh, poem, Joanne. I really appreciate it, and I know Nibbles adopters will too. Um, I will take your wonderful little plastic sleeve and put their copy into that. Custard, I just made your bed. Uh, you wanted, I'm sure you were heading that direction. I guess he isn't going to get into it right now, though. Uh, that is that is really sweet. I'm sure the adopters appreciate it. You have a wonderful way with words. Uh, I know in the past uh, we've occasionally had a rhyme that uh, doesn't work in American English because uh, we say some of our words a little bit different. And uh, I notice, I, I wonder if you have intentionally tried to avoid uh, using words like that now or if it's just coincidence that uh, most of these seem to work so well for me <laughs> lately. Uh, it's an interesting problem to have, isn't it? Uh, when you're trying to write poetry in rhyme uh, for someone that has a completely different accent than you do. Oops, okay, no, that's not oops, we did fine. All right, good. Uh, all right, for now we're going to set that right there. We're going to have to remember to put it with the endowments when we get to that. But uh, that brings us to the end of the letters portion of today's mailbag. So let me find a knife and we can jump into the rest. I don't think it's going to be a very long mailbag. Uh, let me just double check to make sure everything is going well. Looks good. I, oh, wow. Lots of chat. I love going back through the chat afterwards, but this is... Uh, there we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> She's apparently yelling, yes, while well, we're doing that, and I love uh, poem for nibbles. You are loud. We are proud. What are you saying? Again and again and again. <laughs> that's, that's a cute little poem. All right. Uh, well, let's go. Uh, oh, oh, I was excited about this. I covered up most of it, but this is from Sage's Handmade, and I was saying to DJ before Mailbag, I can't wait to see it. This is probably a kicker for our new mom cat, Puddles. That would be my guess anyway. And I was very excited to see what it looks like. Oh, we'll save the surprise for after the note. And it says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, Happy K-Aversary and Happy Professor Maggie Gotcha Day. What a wonderful journey it's been so far. Thank you so much for letting us into your lives and sharing so many cats and kittens with us over the years. I hope you're both doing well and having a fantastic spring now that it's finally getting warm. Watching Teaspoon grow at his own pace with so much love and support behind him has been so heartening. Also, knowing that he's at KA and therefore getting the best care possible is such a relief. 
I'm including Puddle's Kick Bunny, which as usual is made of durable, cat-friendly, 100% cotton yarn and filled with a combination of Yow and From the Field organic catnips and Meowy Jane Silvervine powder. It would be great if you could deploy it now. If anyone wants to make their own Kick Bunny, they can find the Die Hard Kick Bunny crochet pattern in my Etsy shop, which is sageshandmade.etsy.com. No apostrophe, no space. Uh, Sages Handmade, S A G E S H A N D M A D E, dot Etsy dot com, or on Ravelry. I'm sending my best to all of you, humans and felines alike, with congratulations again on Kitten Academy's first seven years of streaming, and all good wishes for the future. Much love, Sage. And here is the Kick Bunny. It's super cute. It's like a canary yellow with these uh, kind of a uh, orangey yellow uh, high, uh, arms, and he's got little orangey yellow here and the eyes as well, repeated. Really pretty. Four puddles. That's very sweet. I hope Puddles likes it. Puddles does like a catnip toy quite a bit, so I think it's going to be a real hit for her. We'll see. And hopefully Custard doesn't try to get to it before then, as he so often does. Uh, he's a big fan of these things. So, all right, uh, I'm going to put it right back in there, and we will bring that upstairs with us and give it to her right away after mailbag. Uh, she will get that. I see our orange boy is having some fun. <laughs> I, I hope that's on the stream. It might be a little too far down. Let me take a look real quick. Uh, that's most of it's on the stream. He's right at the edge. Buddy, if I move that, will you continue to, to play with it? If I bring it over here a little bit, or are you just going to play over there? Come here. Let's come over here and play. Right here where it's just, it's going to be a little more visible. There we go. Let's try that. Got it now? Okay. Great. Okay. Uh, next, Sage, thank you so much for that. I love that you do that for each of the mom cats. I was thinking about it also as I was bringing in the mail how um, having three mom cats in all at once is, is it's good for us. You know, it's a little bit of extra work, and like I said, I'm a little bit nervous about trying to keep up with it. But uh, it also occurred to me that it's some extra work for the people that really like to do something for every mom cat, too, to have three in at once is uh, putting a burden uh, on them. Uh, the, only, the only reason I would say it's not putting a burden on is, of course, you guys know you don't have to do that. You can always take a break or skip one if you need to. And uh, in the case of this mom cat in particular, though, hopefully it's even easier than that because we're told that they don't expect her to deliver her kittens for another month. So uh, we could have a long time with her before she delivers, which was my hope. I, I said, uh, you know, they were perfectly willing to wait and send her to us later. And I said, well, if we know we're going to bring her in anyway, let's do it sooner rather than later so that I have more opportunity to become good friends with her before she delivers the kittens. So that's my hope. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Wow, look at that. Uh, it's a giant pack of those little um, uh, silver vine sticks that have the, the rope wrapped around them and the raffia put through them. And each of them has a little silver vine nugget on the end, too, which is a big hit. Uh, they love Maggie goes crazy for them, but everybody goes crazy for them. Uh, those little silver vine nuggets. These, these are great toys. These are a little shorter than most of them, but look at how many of them are in a pack. You can see Maggie's making my point. She's going right for it. It says, for every cat and kitten currently at the Academy from Minion Lisa. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much, uh, Lisa. You did not have to do that. That's really sweet. And I see someone who wants one right meow. So because you said they're for everybody, let's, here you go, Maggie. Do you want one right now? There you go. Take it right there. Okay. The rest of these I'm going to set aside, and we will figure out what to do with those after. Uh, thank you so much, Minion Lisa. That's so sweet of you. I did not know that they came in uh, uh, packs that were that big. Usually you get three in a package, but that is... How many are in one of these things? Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. A perfect ten. Uh, that's great. Those will keep us going for a while. All right. This is very nearly a letter. Let's see what's going on in here. Oh, Custard, do you want one too right now? I don't know how many of these we need to have out at once. But here, here, buddy. Wait, wait, hang on. Here. here right here, buddy. Come here. Come take yours over there. Okay. Uh, Maggie, you've got one. Yours is right here. There you go. 
All right. Okay, they'll work that out. These things are such a big hit, especially that little silver vine nugget on the end, but I, the, having all the rest of it there gives it a little uh, extra interest. You know, it's not just a silver vine nugget. They chew on a little bit and gets kicked all over. Oh, look at this fancy letter opener that we got. And we have the note, and we have a bag of stickers that look like they're all pineapple-related stickers, but different, all different pineapples? Hmm. Let's take a look at the note. It's on Cat Lady Letterhead. Definitely our people. It says, to Mr. A, Dr. DJ, our human found some cute pineapple stickers and thought you could decorate the next birthing box or use as you see fit. We've also included a letter opener we thought you might like. Whoa, Maggie, that's uncalled for. Come on. There you go, Custard. Maggie, yours is right here. Oh, here, have that one. Go get it. Oh, sorry. <sighs> I might have to get out a third one for Maggie so she doesn't have to be contentive. Uh, let's see, we've also included a letter opener we thought you might like. Thanks for all you do from Tumby, Spot, and Pumpkin. Aw, thank you so much. And these do look like cute stickers. I want to I want to take a quick look at them, but there's a sticker on the package in front of the stickers, so we can't really see them. So let's just take a quick look here. Oh, wow, look at that. That is a, a, a entire variety of all kinds of pineapples. That is ridiculous. And it would be perfect to stick these inside the birthing box. I also, I like the fact for putting them in the birthing box that they're plastic, uh, they're vinyl uh, stickers. That's, uh, they're vinyl. Um, they seem like they're adhesive, so they're not like the vinyl that you put on a window that, you know, just sticks because it's vinyl. Um, but they have vinyl fronts, which is nice because that birthing box gets very dirty. And with the vinyl, we can just wash it off uh, with less worry that it's going to ruin the stickers, where if they were paper stickers, uh, those matte colored paper stickers that are so popular too, uh, then, you know, they would just soak up all of whatever we're using to clean with and whatever it was making them dirty in the first place, and it would be a real mess. So these are ideal for a birthing box, and I'm excited about that. <clears throat> All right, this is where I have to use the mute button to cough, I think. There, that was nice, right? Let's give these kids each one so that they don't have to keep having this little uh, their stare down at each other. Maggie, why are you like that? Custard. There. Now you can have that one. Maggie can have the other one. We can put them all over the house, and then you guys will still fight about them because that's what you do. Okay. Uh, let's see. Thank you so much for the stickers and the letter opener. It's going to go right here in this box. That is a great letter opener to use on the mailbag. And those stickers are perfect. Okay. This says it is from Norway Cat Fan. Let's see if there's also a note. Oh, I see exactly what this is. <laughs> um, <clears throat> dude wipes for the boy, teaspoon, and as needed. And then we have a different shipment. You mentioned puppy blankets in a different shipment from Norway, Mary Cat Fan. Well, thank you. Yes, this is a giant stack of fragrance-free, extra-large dude wipes, uh, which is cute. We've used that to help clean up little man when he needed a little bit of extra cleaning. He doesn't need that cleaning so much anymore, but we'd get plenty of use for wipes around the academy in general, and dude wipes are just funny. So those are perfect. Thank you, Norway Cat Fan, for uh, keeping us stocked up on the dude wipes. Okay. Um, I, I really appreciate it. Let's see. Is this also... Yes, this is also from you. So maybe this is the... You said puppy... You said blankets? Let's, let's see what this is. Ah. They are a bunch of little blankets with paw prints on them. And there's no second note here. So, uh, Norway Cat Fan, thank you so much. These are obviously very soft, nice little blankets. And we will find plenty of uses for those around here. So, thank you so much for that. All right. Uh, moving right along. Wow, we're almost at the end of this already. Oh, another one from Norway Cat Fan. All right. It's the Norway Cat Fan show today. Let's see, does this one have a note? 
Oh, these are the, the three-pack, longer version of that same toy. Silver Vine sticks for Mom Cats, Puddles, Nibbles, and Maggie, of course. Well, look, at she's played with all three of the ones that we put out because one's not enough for her. She just has to own them all. Uh, Puddles, Nibbles, and Maggie puppy blankets for KA from Norway Cat Fan. Thank you so much. So these are the longer ones. We'll put these away for now. She's got three of them out right now, the little short, fat ones. And she can't decide which one she wants. <laughs> Maggie. Oh, Maggie. Uh, these are great little cat toys, though. Those Silver Vine Nuggets, you can get them separately, and the cats like those too, I would say, for anybody that wants to try them on your own cat. Uh, they're just the little, this little tiny nuggety piece that's hanging off the end here. Do you see this? Oh, and it's, this one's already slimy because she's been chewing on it. That's the part that she really likes. Um, but when you give it to her alone, I can imagine, uh, especially you know, even for a bigger cat that's maybe, I don't know, a choking hazard or something, so it's nice to have it all attached like that. Okay, this is, says it is addressed to LFS, Kitten Academy, as you see phi. Uh, I think we're missing a T at the end because uh, there probably just wasn't enough space, but I get it. So um, LFS, uh, thank you so much for sending something for us to use as we see fit. Let's see what it is. Ooh, it looks like it's a bag of stuff. Oh, I think you sent me a note about this, all of it. Because uh, I remember you sent a meat shredder for shredding our chicken with shreds in seconds. Oh, my goodness. And uh, all the pictures have a bunch of shredded chicken in them. Uh, you said that you sent that before I mentioned using the KitchenAid to do all the shredding, which is, that, by the way, that, that's my kitchen tip. I know I shared it already, but uh, if you do want to shred a bunch of chicken, you can just dump them in a KitchenAid mixer and turn it on low for a second. And it, it just with a regular attachment, you know, you don't have to get anything special going on. And it shreds it right up. It's, uh, it's an amazing time saver. So I know you said you sent this to me before I had shared that tip uh, to use to shred chicken. But you said maybe it would be something for me to try to see if it works out a little better or not. Um, so I'm excited about that. We'll check it out. Our meat shredder. Thank you. Uh, and then let me, I've got to find your note because you did say a lot of stuff. Um, let me take a look here. LFS, there we go. What else did you say? You said, wow, oh, this is a big list. Um, from Shine that have arrived and presumably in the mailbag for tomorrow. Since I think it's pronounced Shine, S-H-E-I-N, was having a free shipping deal, I sent a separate package for each kitty. Oh, well, I don't think we have all those yet, or maybe, maybe they just combined them all. We'll find out. Uh, each package has the recipient's name and the address. Okie dokie. Uh, oh, gosh. You say, uh, please notice not the return address. You know, you're right about that. Do I, I, and I think I do always say return address. And now that you mentioned that it's not the return address, it's the destination address, um, why Why do I say it that way? I know the difference. And I, I, for some reason, it just it never occurred to me until just now when you say that, that I'm, I've been saying that wrong the whole time. That's so weird. Um, uh, all right. So... Um, Oh, you know what? Uh, I don't know about the packaging, but when people send letters, a lot of times they do put their nickname in the return address. That makes sense, and that's correct. But then when you send a package and you don't have a chance to leave a note, you, yes, put your name in the, the destination address, not the return address. Put it in as, you know, Kitten Academy, care of whoever you are, like you've done here. Kitten Academy, care of uh, LFS, as you see fit. So, um, okay, good point. So, uh, let's see here. Well, everything that you're listing is stuff I don't see yet. Oh, uh, that's not even this year. That's last year that I'm reading. Wow, you sent me that note a long time ago, and I still have been getting it wrong this whole time. Uh, my bad. <laughs> this is Timu. <laughs> oh, man. Um, so, the meat shredder. The red object is for shredding cooked chicken. Uh, there's a red side. Uh, I... Ordered it before you mentioned using your KitchenAid to shred, but I hope it will be convenient for small batches or maybe yield a better texture. Perfect. The pink mesh object. All right, let's see. Hang on. The blanket claims to be waterproof. I'd take it with a grain of salt. Yeah, it really does not appear to be a waterproof blanket. It looks like it's standard polar fleece. Although polar fleece can be uh, somewhat waterproof, you know, um, sometimes I've seen... Oh, wait, this is this, this is, does look like a waterproof blanket. Maybe it's this one. Okay, so many objects in here. Uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, here's the pink mesh object. Okay. 
It is a cat shower bag, according to the thing. Bobo Touch brand. So, And the picture that you've sent is so cute of it being used on a cat. Uh, so you say, the pink mesh object is for protecting humans while washing or manicuring a cat. Perfect, thank you. The blanket claims to be waterproof, and this is the one in the picture that you sent. Uh, and it does look like a waterproof blanket. It's very similar to the ones that you've sent in the past, in fact. Um, thank you for that. And then the claw clippers. I remember reading this when you sent it, and I was excited because you say the claw clippers include a light. Just press the button, and I thought... Uh, the, the clippers that we use are pretty good, but having a light in there is a great addition because seeing what you're doing is always the hardest part. What they really need is to invent one that has a light and a, like a magnifying glass too, but I don't know. That would be then just too complicated and hard to get in order. Oh, look at that. So those, those are nice clippers, and they have some sort of a <coughs> light built in here somewhere, I guess. Let's pull the battery, in I mean the tab on the battery and see. Uh, okay, hang on. Looks like I have to pull the whole thing out to get it. <coughs> oh, there's the light, you can see that. <laughs> they also have a little lock so we can store them and lock them shut. That's really nice. I'm excited to try these out. So thank you for sending them. I love the idea of putting a light in the clippers. That is, again, uh, a real problem. So that's an excellent solution to that. And then it looks like we have a bonus blanket that you didn't mention, but is here. So um, thank you so much uh, for all of that. That's going to be really fun. And then, of course, that whole thing about Shine and the, the packages for each kit was from uh, last year. So that wasn't for these kids at all. Uh, sorry about that. Sometimes I just read back in those histories and uh, I have no idea what's going on anyway. <clears throat> especially last year, I think. I, that was a rough year for a lot of people and uh, especially for me. Hi, bud. Can you guys see this? He just climbed right into that bag. <laughs> he is, he's acting like a kitten again. This is so cute. Okay, just a couple more boxes to do. Open this end. Good, I like directions. Oh, oh, wow. There's something very cool in here, but let's start with the note. That is so cool. All right. Uh, <laughs> this is a cat at the computer uh, ordering stuff online, and the other cat looking fascinated about it. And the cat that's ordering says, you get one every time you order something online. And the other cat's saying, order lots. Oh, my goodness, that is cute. <laughs> the art of it is especially cute. Uh, and inside, there's a picture of the same two cats and just a giant pile of boxes. And it says, now, where's Mr. A? It's mailbag time. That is so cute. I love this. The, the expressions on their faces, especially the little one in the back saying, order lots. It's so cute. And then inside, we have the same two kitties. Okay. And there's a long note here. And, oh, uh, an article. Let's see. We don't have the whole paper here, do we? We have the uh, Chronicle, New Northern New York's leading newspaper. Well, that's still going to be fun to take a look at, uh, unless it is a one-page newspaper. I guess we'll find out. Hmm. Uh, there are some great ads here, though. <laughs> this should be super fun. All right, let's take a look. A very happy Catterday to all the kitten acad academicians. You know, I actually, I used that word on our blog. I don't have the slightest word, idea how to pronounce that. Um, K.A. MomCats faculty, and of course to Mr. A and Dr. DJ. I'm a longtime viewer and first time contributor. Oh my goodness, well you've sent something in here I can't wait to pull out. Um, as some others have mentioned, I too stumbled on your YouTube channel during the strange days of 2020, and I couldn't agree more with the greater K.A. community. It is truly the best place on the internet. Despite being a devoted cat person, I knew very little of kittens from their birth to adoption age, and so, it has been a delight to watch and learn as each new class of kittens arrives at the Academy. I was happy to learn that K.A.'s current home is in Connecticut, and I am glad to hear of DJ's journey through her medical career. I hope she's found her time there rewarding. Yale University School of Medicine is where I earned my doctorate in cell biology. I have fond memories of my time there. But as careers tend to do, mine has since transplanted me, and I'm now further south at the National Institutes of Health in Maryland. How exciting. Um, <clears throat> excuse me again. 
uh, uh, DJ hasn't obviously uh, didn't go to med school at Yale, but um, she has done now her her residency and her fellowship both include some time at Yale uh, because of the uh, Yale New Haven uh, medical uh, uh, conglomerate is uh, is a big part of both the hospitals that she's worked at. So. Um, Please find enclosed a handmade K.A. memento to keep display gift and Dow entirely as you see fit. For my fellow crochet folks, I made this from a Planet June pattern. I'm not familiar with that, but Planet June. I added the graduation cap as, of course, the perfect accessory. Look at this little kid. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, my goodness. It is adorable. It's a tiny calico. Wearing, of course, a graduation hat, as you can kind of see. Good job, Maggie. Here, Maggie, take this. Okay, she's not paying any attention to me. She wants to try to bite this, I bet. I don't want her to do that, though, because it is too cute. Oh, my goodness. His little face. Is, I just love it. Um, uh, the perfect, perfect accessory to capture the spirit of an official KA graduate. Uh, let's see. We've got Ollie and Rue on the back here. Wow, beautiful cats. I try to watch Mailbag as often as I can, and so I hope you're still interested in seeing quirky small-town newspapers. As background, I grew up in the Adrian Dak, Adri Adrian, am I saying that right? I hope I am. Uh, mountains of New York State near Lake George in a town that hosts the annual Adrian Dak Balloon Festival. Uh, that's where those, Ad 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 Adron Dak, uh, I don't, that's where those chairs come from, right? The lawn chairs, um, isn't it? I don't know. Uh, Anyway, the Balloon Festival, set to celebrate its 50th anniversary this fall, the local paper pounced on, pun intended, the headlines describing China's navigation of so-called weather balloons over the U.S. My parents sent me the front page of this year's April Fool's edition of the Chronicle, and a friend and fellow K.A. fan suggested I send this to K.A. Mailbag. Hope you enjoy a little small-town newspaper humor. I see... Oh, I see. I get it now. It says China to sponsor the Balloon Festival. Uh, and the rest of the article looks like it carries on in the same uh, vein. That is, that's pretty funny, actually. That's cute. <laughs> um, very topical as well. All right. Uh, I hope you enjoy a little small town newspaper humor. Thanks for all you do for kittens, cats, and their humans. Sincerely. A KA fan and cat mom to Ollie and Rue, who are also huge KA fans. Well, thank you so much. I guess you, you don't sign your name here anywhere, but uh, I, uh, Ollie and Rue and to their mom, uh, thank you very, very much. It's wonderful. This little guy is so cute. I'm going to put him directly into our cabinet of special things after I show him to DJ. She has to see him. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, at first glance, I thought that newspaper was just the news of the balloons. I didn't realize, uh, I didn't, didn't parse the headline, uh, China to sponsor. That's, uh, that's very cute. Okay. All right, then. Let's, um, last one. I think this is it for today. Oh, and this is from Lisa G, whose uh, address I didn't cover up. Let's do that with my hand right now. I just pointed at the camera. Uh, I don't know how that happened, but I think we know some of what's probably in here, although it's a little big. So let's see. <clears throat> we should have all recognized this was from Lisa G based on the stickers. Okay. Let's see here. Aw. Uh, it is the usual, but we have a big note here, and the note says... <laughs> It has two cats wearing what look like frog hats. Uh, they're very cute. One of them is even making a... They both have ridiculous faces. Uh, oh, and somebody's chewed on this a little bit. That's so cute. It says Cheeto Bites. Yes, it is. Uh, hello, Kitten Academy. Happy spring. I'm loving watching the April Meowers grow and reach their kitten milestones. So cute. Enclosed, please find the usual kitten endowments. Thank you for all you do from Lisa G. Beans and Cheeto. Sorry for the Cheeto bites. Don't be sorry for that. We love seeing where the cats, your cats have, uh, where anybody's cats, especially Kitten Academy alumni, though, uh, like Cheeto and Beans, uh, have have participated in the packaging of of the things. I, I love it. So thank you so much. Um, no need to say sorry for that one. And 
what we have here are the usual items that you've sent. There we go. And as always, you send a laser pointer for every graduate with their tiny little kitten pictures on it, which surely has become a lot more work for you since I've been so lax in updating our blog. Uh, although I do have some great baby pictures of these guys and of the others still pending uh, to post on that blog someday. Anyway, here we have one for Drizzle and Sprout and Brawly and Bud right there, as well as Raindrop and Puddles. These are so sweet. I know these are great little toys. They're all going to love chasing that red dot. Um, and I always say that, but I, I think it's so fun that you put their kitten pictures on there. So not only is it easy for me to distribute when uh, it comes time to do that distribution, but uh, I love that their adopters get that and that they see their kitten on there as a kitten, as a little newborn kitten. I love that you pick the earliest sort of photos of them uh, to be the ones that you put on there. I think it's, it's so cute. Uh, that's got to be real fun for the adopters to see. So thank you so much for that and keeping up for that. Um, and I see we've got custard on the, the pool table, which, by the way, is great. That, that is a really cool piece of cat toy. It's got seven little felt balls. It's got real pockets and like a felt top. It's, the little legs have the sisal rope on them. And it's got two cue sticks with little uh, cue balls on leather straps. So they're actually like cat wands. Um, the only trouble with that is, as DJ was pointing out, the little cue balls that are on the end of the cat wands are made of wood. And they seem like they, they would really uh, be a hazard if you're flipping them around too fast. So we have to be careful about that. Um, but they look like they'll make great cat toys in general, and uh, we just have to we have to put the wands away though because they've got the leather strings on there. So we're not going to leave those out, even if we are probably going to leave the table out somewhere. Uh, it's so cute as a set though; it's just wonderful. I'm so glad that DJ took the time this morning to put it together and put it out. That's uh, it's wonderful. You're going to see a lot of DJ probably. Uh, things are probably going to be. I, I should have mentioned this during news uh, at the beginning. Things are probably going to be a little weird for the next two weeks because DJ's on vacation. Her vacation starts today. It's the first day of her two-week vacation. So she's going to be home. Uh, there's going to be a lot of me trying to hang out with her and make the most of this time. And uh, who knows, we might even get out of the house at some point. Um, that's, uh, I know, a strange thing to do. It feels like it's been years. Oh, wait, it has been. <laughs> it has been years. Uh, so, yeah, anyway. Uh, thank you so much to everybody for everything. I'm going to turn off the, the nice mic now and put it away uh, and then get up and um, take care of all the regular stuff. So I'm going to switch this back to the old mic and uh, do that first. And we'll end the archive after that. This little guy, oh my goodness, I gotta bring him over here. Let's show him the DJ and put him in the cabinet of special things. So cute, oh my goodness. Let's see, this has to go downstairs. That has to go downstairs. So I can put these together. And this should this should probably go to the kitchen. Uh, these things, let's Oh, that's not just a blanket, is it? That's like a bed. That's like a, a little round bed. Oh, that's cute. Hmm. Okay, well for now we're gonna send this downstairs until we figure out where to put it.
these can all go downstairs to the storage zone for now. Sun in here, you guys say. It's not supposed to be very warm today, but it's probably going to be super sunny. Well, I don't know, it's kind of overcast. Still, I know it looks really bright on the stream. It's just the difference. I mean, even, even sun through the clouds is so much brighter than the lights in here. You on that pillow like a king, like a queen, I guess. All right, I guess we'll leave that pillow there for you for now. Then, Right, I gotta bring this up to puddles, and I think that's it for our uh, mailbag today. That was the whole thing. Thank you guys, thanks uh, to all of you for everything. I really appreciate it. Uh, the kidneys appreciate it. You're wonderful people. I, I just I couldn't possibly say it enough. Um, but I'm glad that we have this time set aside every week uh, as an opportunity for me to show my appreciation for you. Uh, I think that's good to, to always keep in mind. So. Uh, and I do. I, I just I think about it all the time. How uh, amazing this this last seven years has been. It, it's something I never expected. Something I never sought. You know, the uh, our whole goal in starting the Kitten Academy. Well, I can't even say we had a goal. We didn't intend to start it in the first place. Um, you know, we, we put our stuff on YouTube to start with, and then uh, it just sort of took off. And, uh, uh, but, but our goal in continuing it has been just to make sure that we get all the kittens adopted uh, and everything else is a bonus and, and such a bonus, such a, a bountiful, um, just, you're, you're wonderful people. So uh, thank you, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Thank you so much. Uh, and with that, I'm going to end the archive and yeah, thanks. Thanks, everybody. Uh, where am I going to do that? Let's see here. Okay.